Hi everybody, welcome back to another cocktail series here at the PGA West Private. My name is Ernesto, your food and beverage assistant director here at the club. I'm here to make you a few specialty cocktails today, starting with the first one here is a pomegranate paloma. Chose a pomegranate paloma because tequila is very in right now and trendy and believe it or not, I believe that the best thing we need right now during these times is a little more tequila. So let's get started. Uh, first off, as you know, when I work on my ingredients for the cocktail, I start with the least costing ingredients first. That way, in case we make mistakes, we get to throw the cheaper stuff away instead of the goods. So first, <laughs> start with ice. Have your ice here. Then we're gonna start off with, I've already squeezed about one ounce of lime juice to go into the glass first. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one ounce of pomegranate juice. You can use whatever pomegranate juice you like. If you want to do something that's organic, it's great. It'll make the cocktail taste that much more refreshing. I'm using palm, pomegranate uh, juice, and you're gonna do one ounce of that. Difference between a Paloma and a Margarita is you're not adding the triple sec, you're not adding any Cointreau, you're just pretty much adding the sweetener, the tart, and the tequila with a little club soda. It's gonna make everything taste that much more refreshing and it's not gonna be as sweet as a Margarita usually is. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Agave Nectar Organic um, Syrup. Beautiful thing about the Atres Agaves brand is that it's all organic. They have great um, production all over Mexico and their agaves are fantastic. They haven't gotten into the market of tequila yet, but I see them doing it soon. So that's that. Next, we're gonna go into Asambroso Blanco Tequila. It's a beautiful silver tequila that's distilled from uh, fresh agave down in Jalisco, Mexico. Uh, my supplier goes there three or four times a month to you know taste the product and make sure everything's up to the standard. God bless them. So here we are, about an ounce and a half of tequila. So let's face it, it's 2020, so I'm gonna throw in another <laughs> another ounce. Why not? Okay, let's give it a good shake. Give it a nice hard shake for about 10 seconds. I like to do two different points of aeration so you can incorporate all the different ingredients. It just makes everything taste that much better. So let's do it. a little fancy here we're going to serve it in a nice wine glass got your strainer here so you don't use lose the dirty ice look at that beautiful purple color from the pomegranate juice now what we're going to do is top it off with a little club soda I like to garnish my pomegranate paloma with some fresh rosemary. So usually to get out all the oils and all the scents and aromas from the rosemary or any herbs, you can muddle it, but then you'd have to strain it. I like to just clap. Releases all the aromatics, oils that you need. Drop it in there, ready to enjoy. Pomegranate paloma, cheers.